this, do this. Saturday morning. commentary crew we'll give you a view from a different side we're here tonight to talk about my new movie Rainbow Last Blood this is of course with Rashad Waters owner and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing the company gives you music and instruments from march bands all across the nation you know what I'm saying? this is my Latino compadre over here all the way from May Cole what's going on bro awesome what's up what's up what's up Chuck Taylor here. Can't face party easy. Let's do this. Let's break it down. All right. Let's get it now. <laughs> I can't keep that going for a whole thing. <laughs> nah. <laughs> My eyes are right. getting too squinty over here. My eyes wow. see. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get into um, Rambo Last Blood, sir. So we'll go ahead, as usual, starting with our non spoiler review. And then move into the spoiler review later. And of course, if you're watching, make sure you hit that bell for the subscribe button. Because you got to subscribe to survive. We'll stab you. We'll stab you someplace <laughs> where you're going to find out later when people get stabbed and hurt. <laughs> Mr. Taylor, what your, you got there? Take your kids. Oh, yeah. Um, this movie was... This was a this was a tough one to watch. This was gritty for real in all ways. Uh, <laughs> so I guess just for the non-spoiler side of things, I, I'm, I'm going to let you know. I haven't watched any Rambo's before, so this is my first <laughs> look at Rambo. I always <laughs> seen Rambo, but I always just you thought of Rambo as like the Predator, how uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was on the Predator. I just figured it was something similar to that. Like, you know, uh, dudes killing people at them. And, some of them are like that. that. That's what they look like. It reminded me that. So, this I never actually went and watched any of them. So after watching this one, I'm like, whoa. I'm hoping I'm hoping this is, uh, you know, this one that's, I don't know. This one was, was I wasn't expecting this. I, I felt kind of bad. I'm like, dang, I feel, I feel bad, kind of bad first because I'm a dad. So I'm like, my child's not going to Mexico um, ever. Uh, it's not happening because that was crucial. Of course, oh, I guess I can't. Well, I can't. I can't get into spoilers right now. But yeah, right. no they further have, than uh, that. Yeah, I can't go any further than that one. But yeah, the Mexico uh, was kind of scary on all this movie. And let you know. So, but to go back into the base of the movie, what I felt, uh, what I felt, I felt it was um, it, it everything to me kind of flowed flowed well. Uh, the, the making of the movie, um, it kind of got right into the story. Kind of, it kind of lagged a little bit at the beginning, but it kind of got right into the story. Um, kind of right when the, I guess, the main uh, issue popped up. But you kind of, you kind of knew what was to, what was going to happen. That's yeah. one thing I can say I didn't like about the movie. It was like, it was like pretty predictable. Like on a lot yeah. of things. Like, okay, well, we know it's about to happen on this thing. Um, right. So. That that they didn't really leave anything to you know, to you know just pop up at you later on. Like okay, yeah, I know yeah, exactly yeah. what's gonna happen in this movie. Nothing, if, you nothing. Ever, if, you, if you ever had kids, if you've ever been a kid, yeah, if you've ever seen a kid, you know <laughs> what's about <laughs> to happen. <laughs> yeah, we we know exactly what's gonna happen on this one. Um, but yeah, it was really gritty. Um, it was really gory. Well, I didn't mind. I, I I thought that part, those parts were pretty cool. Like the way uh, you know Rainbow really got his revenge on a lot of the bad people in the movie, um, a lot of villains. But that the story itself, I don't know. It was just a little. It needed a little more to me. It was kind of it was so predictable. It kind of made like okay, I know what I'm about to watch. I already know how this is going to end. So it kind of just you were just waiting for that stuff to happen. It wasn't anything su surprising in the movie. Um, I think Sylvester Stallone is very old. Um, he plays the same type of character in almost everything. It just reminds me of Creed or Rocky, to be honest with you, because I watch Creed all the time. Same guy. So. Yeah. yeah, same guy. He just now he has a knife and stab people. And, I and, mean, he literally, he literally could have <laughs> left Creed, and it's like, you know what? I've been living in New Jersey all this time, or New, wherever yeah. he lives, Philadelphia. Yeah. And he could have just yeah. gone out to the middle of Texas, 
and and become this same character. You know what I mean? It it would not have been a stretch of imagination. Not been a stretch at all. I was like, oh, so he's just a retired. He's just Rocky. He was retired right. with no path though. Okay, and then this is his second life here. <laughs> <laughs> he digs. Well, I can't say that. All right, but um, yeah, I think that's about all I can say really for the non spoiler because most of my stuff is going to get into the spoiler review. Uh, some of my dislikes or some of my concerns about the movie. But if you're a Rambo fan, um, I can't say if it's just like the other ones based off of what I've seen online that is getting is a lot of people don't like it. It was a little too much. I guess what made the story was not as uh, easy to digest as some of the other past Rambo stories. Dealing with, you know, the the premise of this story is gets a little, like, kind of connects with, I guess, today's world with some of the scary things that happen to uh, our children, our family members that can happen to you in real life. So that, that made me struck some nerves. Like, with mine, it kind of made me like, oh, gosh, this is, this is going in a place I wasn't expecting. You know, <laughs> it's like I feel kind of scared now for, you know, people like, yeah, this is this is getting to that uncomfortable type of uh, scene. So, but yeah, what about you? How'd you feel about it? Yeah. Uh, uh. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the Stallone impression I got. So, um, I liked it, man. Um, it wasn't one of my favorite movies of the year because I, I think there are some issues with pacing kind of like it's not your average revenge movie you know just like you know we've seen the takens and all the other movies like that you know where something goes wrong and then now the main guy has to come in there and kill everybody we've seen those a million times it's, it's not your average revenge movie although there is some revenge that is doled out <laughs> in this movie yep. quite heavily if you came here for revenge you're gonna get it but to me it reminds me a little bit more of logan in some places you know, kind of deep dive with him and kind of see how he feels about things. So I, I going into it, looking for a revenge movie, I was kind of surprised by that. I kind of wanted to see a little bit more of the action there because that's that's what I came to see. But I can yeah. respect the fact that that's, that's what they did. Like, okay, I respect that. I don't, that's, that's not necessarily what I wanted, but I don't think it was a bad move. I just, you know, I, I respect that. Um, again, if you want to see a revenge movie, I think that you will enjoy this movie. Just be careful what you ask for. You gonna, you gonna get it. <laughs> you gonna get all the revenge. You you might have to go to church right after seeing this movie because <laughs> the sin's gonna be all washed over you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> yeah. You but, feel um, pretty dirty. I, yeah, 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 yeah. This this movie is not for the faint of heart. Let me tell you. I mean, it's 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 Hellboy level at some points. <laughs> So, um, but again, uh, I enjoyed it. I don't think it's for everybody. Again, if you're going to see your average uh, revenge movie, the the pacing will, may throw you off a little bit. I'm not exactly sure what the negative, what negativity the critics have had. Maybe it's because it went over the top in some places. I mean, but hey, I mean, what would you do <laughs> in this situation? <laughs> all right, and if so, you're Rambo, and, I mean, I guess you, you you know how to do all this stuff, so yeah, you gonna get people back the worst way possible. It, yeah, oh yeah, the worst yeah, ways possible. Yeah, so, it, yeah. Enough of the secrets. It's time to get into the spoiler review. So let's do it. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. All right, my compadre over there from me, cool. What you think about this movie? The spoiler review. Let's get into it. Yeah, this uh, this movie. This movie was a uh, off gate, um, pretty touchy. Um, the whole concept of her getting well, we are. I know I, I figured out that she was gonna be, uh, you know, a dummy and not listen to every every adult that told her don't go to Mexico and look for your daddy. I was like, please don't go look for your daddy. Please don't go look for your daddy. Some girl just randomly call you and tell you to come to Mexico. It's like, bro, that's not smart. And she does. And we all know so, how she gets. What's up? Let me let me ask you this. <laughs> when they were talking about going to Mexico, I was like, you know, she's gonna have to fly over there, catch a plane, something like like us from North Carolina. But yeah. she just drove down there. I'm like, bro, if she really wants to go that bad, why don't you just take her? It's not. It's really not that serious. You could have just put it in the car. And just here, here's Mexico. They could have. 
<laughs> he could have. I guess. I guess he wish he would have by the by the middle of that movie because she sure went right on over there and went to her her, her thuggish friend's house and straight sold her out. I'm like, dang, yeah. bro. And it, it felt kind of sad. Like I, I felt like when I was watching, I was like, dang. I felt bad because this really happens, you know? Yeah. It's not like something that they just like made up in a movie. It's like, yeah, when girls really get taken, made sex slaves, and they're gone. And mm -hmm. they don't treat them like humans. It just, your kid, your kid or your, your uh, family members is gone. Like, you don't even, you can't barely find them. And a lot of us aren't like Rambos and just go, you know, destroy everybody and get them back. Right. Or like Liam Neeson. You know, and can go get him back because that's that's kind of like what happened on on his movie too with his daughter. It's like yeah, yeah, and, 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 and that always makes it it uh, it always plays right into I guess what everybody the stereotypes about everything every place outside of America. But we know this happens in America too. Like there's plenty yeah. of places that take people's kids and little girls and girls and women and do whatever they want to, and it's in the states, but. Mm -hmm. You know, they always make movies that it's like other places that do it. But yeah, that was that was the part that I was kind of like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. So it kind of caught me off guard when it went right down that and you got so graphic with everything. Um, mm -hmm. So I can see how that kind of made some people uncomfortable when watching the movie. Because if you're coming to see like an action packed movie and you weren't expecting like the like it would take him, you expect that's gonna happen because it's in the trailers and everything. You see his daughter mm -hmm. talk on the phone and they take her. So we know what they're taking her for. On this one, it's like, oh, whoa, okay. I didn't know what was going on this room. Oh, this is getting really bad. And when she, and it's not even worse because she doesn't make it out. You know, like yeah. once he gets her back, like they really just threw her through the ringer and she dies right there. So I'm like, damn. It's like the whole point of him doing all this, healing back up after he got beat up, is she still dies right there. And that's really when he goes. <laughs> I I guess this is probably the uptick of the movie when he goes um, uh, Macaulay Culkin on steroids uh, <laughs> in his cage and starts just building traps, traps of destruction <laughs> and mutilation <Yeah. laughs> all on his property. <laughs> And the main thing I was I was so I was so I was like wondering like how the heck is he gonna get them to come to his house? And then yeah, right. he heard up and saw how he was gonna do that. Um so that was I like that writing, how he went back across the border, took out dude's little brother, and left his body there and took his head. I'm like, yeah, cause that mm -hmm. cause the only way he was gonna be able to, I guess, get his plan to work is to make them enraged. So right. he just acts off of, you know, his his emotions and not really think about nothing. Uh, so uh -huh. he's just coming there with a whole army, which I don't understand how the heck all of them got over the border with all them gun with a whole uh, you know, whole army of machine guns just, and like they went through they just went through the uh the tunnels there. I'm sure they okay, I'm sure wasn't hard to get caught. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you saw like they came up out of a factory, so they must have a like they there's a place in Mexico to go in, and then just come out of the factory in the United States. Oh, so Trump didn't build a wall, I guess. Or I guess his wall. Yeah, he did the wall. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you saw quite a bit of the wall in the in the movie, actually. The the gates, the fences. No, nah, there was one spot right before they went through the factory. It was showing like uh, America and, and the United States, and it was like a, it was a wall right there. It just showed you, like a real it just gave you perspective on how easy. Yeah, it was, oh. it was brief. Okay, I must have missed that, that part. Wall. <laughs> that <laughs> that little wall, but um, but yeah. So kind of once it got to that point, it got back to like, okay, this is the type of movie I was coming to see. So yeah, that part from from there on, when he's just you know just has the. <laughs> These just destroying these villains. That was pretty <laughs> cool. Like he he goes ham and they, he makes sure they're extra dead. That they, they go they dead they spirits dead. They yeah. they descendants are dead. Everybody's dead. Anything about them alive. <laughs> their defenders are dead. <laughs> Everything is dead. Because <laughs> he was like killing them. He would they would fall in traps and get destroyed with like spikes and stuff. And then he just come on in and just destroy them with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> like oh just like he is not playing uh so yeah. he, he does get his revenge which i i do like uh but i thought it was kind of bittersweet because it would do you didn't really feel like any type of uh uh victory in the moment um at the end of it it kind of just felt kind of sad to be honest with you. I was like yeah this is sad like everybody his sister done died 
Now his, mm-hmm. his niece is gone, and it ain't nothing else. So I guess I guess that's why they call it Last Blood. Maybe that's why they, you know, they just want to frame it that his, he's gonna have a bitter life. There was nothing good was gonna ever happen out of it. So, but yeah, it was a little. The, it was a little touchy, you did like, see that he didn't die, right? Yeah, I know he didn't die. But, okay, I didn't know when the where the black market copy cut off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I know he didn't die, but I just felt like, wow, uh, and, and nothing really good happened in this movie at all. <laughs> Nothing good. I mean, I don't think I, I don't think a good point, and I don't remember anything good happened. Maybe she graduated uh, high school or whatnot. I think that was like the only good part that, that happened. That was before early. the movie even started. <laughs> yeah, you, you saw the you saw the thing. She had a little party with her friends in the cage, which was kind of weird. Like, dude had like the whole whole like <laughs> mining system out in his yard. I was like, what mm-hmm. the world? Okay, yeah. He is a little weird and crazy. That's that's, that's crazy. So, but he put them suckers into good use <laughs> at the, by the end of the movie. So, but yeah, this is my first Rambo movie. Don't think I'm going to check out the other ones. I'm, I don't know. I'm not really. It doesn't really drive me to go see the other ones. But maybe maybe I will one day. I'll just see it on TV and I want to watch it. Watch something gory. But uh, this one, uh, Sylvester Stallone, yeah, it was all right, I guess. But what about you? Well, to tell you real quick, um, all the movies are pretty different. Like, the first one is not him just going on a killing spree at all. Like, he's just walking around in the city somewhere after getting back from um, Vietnam. And then they, like, kick him out of the city and they arrest him and they harass him and stuff. And then something happens. And this that's why that movie is actually called First Blood. It's not even called Rambo. It's called First Blood. Um, because he didn't do anything you know they they started messing with him and then that's when he takes revenge so it's not really that it's not a revenge and attack and killing movie <coughs> excuse me Woo, i guess my revenge coming out right now <laughs> coming <out> my throat. <laughs> yeah it's not that type of movie but the next movie that comes out which is actually called rambo that one is just him. They sent him, like, they arrest him at the end of the first movie. And it's like, hey, we need to go ahead and use you in, uh, back to go save some P, uh, uh, prisoners of war, POWs. So they just send him in there and he just. Come out of water destroying everybody. So two and three of that type of movie. And then the last one that came out, uh, I think it was just, was that one just called Rambo as well? That he's in, like, Korea. That one was terrible. <laughs> to me, it was nothing. It was just straight over the top murder. And then this one is a lot, like, actually has a story <laughs> and a plot to it. You know, so they, all the movies are very different. So I wouldn't judge uh, any of the others really off of this one because they're all very different. But anyway, um, for the spoiler review, again, this movie delivered on what you came to see, which was Rambo killing people. And he delivered on that. I don't cringe much during movies, man. I've seen a lot of movies, bro. But there were so many times that the last 20, 30 minutes, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, oh. <laughs> he was just, it was horrible how what he was doing. I mean, was, gosh, I mean, again, like you talked about them falling in the in the trap. <laughs> I mean, they were just spikes going through their bodies and. I mean, all kinds of, I mean, toasters were coming from the wall, smashing their heads. They wouldn't have toasted, but like, <laughs> rakes. And freaking arrows and rakes and yes. sharp Showing objects everything. coming through, just ripping <laughs> people's legs off and stuff. I'm like, oh gosh. This is- yeah. And even, even before that, when he, uh, there was a scene right before he went to go kill the brother, <laughs> and he, this dude was walking, he shot him in the back of the neck, like right through yeah. the back of the neck with an arrow. Like, <gasps> He and was then killing, he was killing dude with a knife to so walking up just like <clears throat> and like you be you be just seeing like you, you know most of the time it goes through somebody's neck and like you just like you kinda see it, but on this movie you see like you hear it, you feel all the stuff popping through the all the juices coming out. I'm like, oh gosh. Oh <laughs> so yeah, he, he even did. the first guy, like when he stabbed him <laughs> and then he he pulled his rib out. <laughs> <laughs> And threatened to break it, threatened to break his rib, and then he <laughs> broke his rib slowly. I was like, oh god, <laughs> this guy's <is> terrible. <laughs> yeah, so don't piss him off, man. Um, but if that's what you came to see, then it delivered. Uh, I also like the fact that it was like a war. Uh, I went and added that to my notes because I like that 
that he struck back at them like he went back to Mexico and got the brother mm -hmm. and you know chopped his head off and stuff because to me that definitely was like a war like it's not just you did something to me now we got revenge like right? no it's like okay you did something to me all right I'm gonna come back and strike back at you and that's gonna make you come and strike at me but now I got you where I want you like there's a strategy involved in that I like it and I love how he threw the brother's head this <laughs> threw it out the window. Out, yeah. like, no. like that, that's why, like the way he just nods on, threw a head out the window, like splattering on the road and stuff. I'm glad uh, his was that his uh, what was that his uh, who was who was the old lady? It was Lady Well. I don't. They never really talked about the relationship there. Okay, I, was, I feel like I was, he was his housekeeper, and that and like their whole family moved in with him. And that's I, I guess, but I don't really know. They never really talked about it. Oh my gosh, she left the house. That's that's all. I was like, you need to leave. Like, you need to leave now. <laughs> Cause they got his license and everything. Like, yeah, something about to go down. You need to go on and find something else to do. After this yeah. Year. In the after credit scene, she came back to the house. You know, she said, hey, John, I just wanted to check up on you. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Caramba. You know. <laughs> I'm Caramba. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy um dislikes uh, again the pace of this movie could have been better the movie definitely throws you a curveball like right when you're ready to see some action like particularly right after that scene i was just talking about where he like grabs the first guy and he stabs him and then he gets his rib and starts breaking it then you're like okay yeah. he's about to go in his house and, and just wreck shop but instead he gets he gets his cover blown which makes sense but it, it wasn't where you expect and they just kick his butt you know, like beat him badly, nearly yeah, to death. Really oh, I didn't see that he, coming. Like, he looked like he looked like how Rocky and them be looking after them fights. I was like, I'll swole up to here. I was like, dang, I ain't beat this crap out of him. It was so yeah, funny was like, right when um right when the older brother talking about yeah we're gonna um like once he found out what he came there for like we're gonna make it so hard for her and but we're gonna let you live so you can. I'm like his brother's like what. Excuse me? We're, we're gonna let him live. He's like, come on, let me talk to you over here real quick. And he was the first one to get it too. Right. <laughs> he was the first one to get it too. Like, dang. So he uh, exactly. like, you villains. If y'all got him there, go ahead and take him out. Like don't don't, exactly. don't try to rub him in there. So And Rambo should have learned that himself. Because... Rambo should have learned that himself because he only almost got taken out himself. Trying to save dude for the end so he can rip his heart out. Like, bro, like, you were good to right then. Yeah. Let's see here. Um, let me see here. Oh, and, and pulling the dude's heart out. Yeah, that that was a little too much. For, well, it's not that he pulled the heart out. Actually, that wasn't that bad, believe it or not. But the fact that he ripped his heart out and it was still boom, 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 boom. like, come yeah. on, bro. Yeah. Mortal, Mortal Kombat! Kombat yeah. like, <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> if he just ripped his heart out, because I don't believe that if you rip a human heart out, that it beats with a sound loud enough, you know, to dominate the sound of a room. I don't think it does. I think it just kind of. I think I don't even know if you could really hear it. So, I would have preferred for it to be that way instead of. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> um. And the other lady character, she was just a plot device. Like she had yeah. no personality. She had no, no. She had nothing to do with anything. It was just to help him heal up and to yeah, show him exactly. where the bad guys were, so he could take them out. That was all. She that was, was it. For. That was her whole thing. She had no I reason, no love, some type of interest, some love interest, or something. Something was gonna happen that they connect to each other. But it was like, hmm, I see that dude. I'm gonna just follow him around till he gets beat up, and then I'm gonna like, bring him to my house. Okay. I'm going to risk my life and go save him. <laughs> and even when he was like, he did this whole scene about her getting revenge. And then I guess all she did was like, tell him where they live. Yeah. That was about, it. Uh, <laughs> we never saw her again. Like, like, to me, it's like, she she was so worried about being caught. And so I'm like, all you got to do is just show him where the dude was. That's it. Oh, he's over there. Right. Thank you. Exactly. Easy piece though, but um, <laughs> overall, um, I like the movie. It's it's not one of my favorites, um, just because again of, of the pacing of things. It's like you really have to wait. Other than other than a few brief scenes, nearly all of the action happens in the last twenty to twenty five minutes. 
It's like it's saving up everything there. The few brief scenes there, like he goes off for like a minute and a half a couple times <laughs> in the movie, but everything else is at the end. So I wish they could have done a better job with the pacing. Uh, so that kept it for being one of my favorites. But overall, I liked it. What say you, sir? Yeah, I'm gonna pass on it. It wasn't what okay. I expected. I, I'm I'm coming from fresh off. I don't know anything about Rambo, but I was thinking it was gonna be more like Arnold Schwarzenegger type movie, action packed. You know, the bad guys bringing drugs over or something like that. I didn't really want to see you know all the gritty, you know, horrible. Yeah, you you coming fresh kind of stuff. I you coming fresh off for that. Of that fatherhood, like you watching the movie with your daughter, like no, mm. yeah, <laughs> no. yeah. I was like, no, no. I was like, oh gosh, this is scary. This is pretty tough. Like, oh wow, I'm about to learn some Rambo stuff. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, listen hey. to me, child. <laughs> I think. I tell you one thing: anytime your kids don't uh, uh, don't act right, just show them that movie <laughs> real quick. Yeah. You see what happens when you don't listen? You now I got to blow up the whole house. They want to go out to the club, so this is what they look for. So. Listen to your parents. That's what you got in this movie. All right. Well, if you like what we did here, make sure to give us a like. If you've got comments about Rambo, Last Blood, leave your comments on Facebook or on YouTube or wherever you happen to see us. As usual, you've got to subscribe. This is Color Commentary. We'll give you a view from a different side. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> 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 <laughs>